Welcome back to the comments section. I'm Brett Cooper, and per usual, the Kardashians are trending. I feel like every day it's one of them or one of their adjacent, you know, peoples. They've done something and it's in the news. But this time, it's Kim. Classic. I'm a mother, millionaire, law student, and billionaire. As you may or may not know, Keeping Up with the Kardashians ended its run with E last year. And soon after that happened, they quickly signed a new deal for a new reality docuseries with Hulu. And that comes out in April. So they did a interview and a photo shoot with Variety to promote this new show. And in it, Kim gives some advice for women in her industry and in business. And it has gone viral. I have the best advice for women in business. Get your ass up and work. It seems like nobody wants to work these days. You That's have to, so true. You have to surround yeah. yourself with people that want to work. Have a good work environment where everyone loves what they do because you have one life. No toxic work environments and show up and do the work. So basically, Kim is spitting fire. She's saying that people these days are often lazy, don't want to work, and that if you want to achieve any level of success, you need to get off your ass and do the hard stuff, which I think is very true. I think it's a great message. I am semi alone in that, apparently, because the internet is very angry at her. One person says, read the room, Kim. We are just finishing a pandemic. Okay, so does hard work stop in the middle of a pandemic? All I get from this is that you are 100% somebody that has stayed in your house for the last two years. Probably the only hard work that you've done is doing puzzles. Somebody else says, Kim giving Republican. Okay. Oh, another one, sort of the same sentiment. Kim really opened her mouth and an old, rich, white, conservative man came out. So I guess since I agree with her, I too am an old, rich, white, conservative man. It's my alter ego, guys. Little too much time with Kanye. Listen, I've said it from the beginning. I think Kanye was good for Kim. Listen, he might have gotten a little crazy the last few years. There's obviously stuff going on. But I don't know. I stand Kim Ye. Still do. Somebody else says, I get the judgment, but she's not wrong. People these days expect rewards and things to be easy and handed to them without putting in the work. Yes. <coughs> Snaps. People who are born into wealth sure do have some strong opinions about the work ethic of the poor. Somebody responds to this person and says, she didn't even say poor people. She just said to work because people aren't wanting to work these days. And she's not wrong. People on every level are pulling out of workplace for several reasons. People be angry at wealth, but won't work to obtain it themselves. Yeah, that's right. Also, a lot of people in these comments are saying, like, she's talking about people who work minimum wage jobs, that kind of thing. If you read the interview, she's talking about people in entertainment and in beauty and that kind of thing. Her industries. I mean, like, it's not like she's pulling a Dave Ramsey and telling everybody that they need to work three jobs and, you know, drive Uber and deliver pizza at night. Somebody else says, I really think people are taking this out of context. I feel like this is for women who have a business and expect instant success versus putting in the work and grinding hard to become a success. When you want your business to succeed, you have to put in work. Okay, this person posted a screenshot from a job listing for one of the Kardashian-Jenner businesses, and it's an unpaid internship. And she's saying no toxic work environments, because that's something that Kim said. So apparently she's claiming that because this internship is unpaid, I swear these people are so delusional. Everybody does unpaid internships. It's the way you move up in anything. Get over it. I have no idea what I'm doing, but I know I'm doing it really, really well. Okay, now this is the reply that I've seen everywhere. Everybody's screenshotting it, posting it on Instagram, retweeting it, all this stuff. This girl says, I was an editor on the Kardashian apps in 2015 in LA. I worked days, nights, and weekends, could only afford groceries from the 99 cent store, called out sick more than once because I couldn't put gas in my car to get to the office and was reprimanded for freelancing on the side heart emoji sarcasm so then she goes on and she has this other part of her thread where she's saying after this experience she learned how toxic the beauty industry is and now she's going on to write her own sub stack and she posted it so that everybody can go follow her so like again this is just to promote her own stuff so then my favorite part of this is that somebody replies to her and says curious if they paid hourly or salary can you share she says, it was a third party company and it was salaried. You weren't even working for the Kardashians. And somebody calls that out and is like, 
but you forgot to say that it was a third party company that you were working for and not for the Kardashians directly. Did they hire you? No. The company hired you and you agreed to the salary. Yes. So you're just using this whole thing to plug yourself and your sub stack when you didn't actually work for them. You agreed to a salary. You wanted that job because of the connections and now you want to complain about it almost 10 years later. Boom. Roasted. Now this is shocking. But Trevor Noah, who usually I think is an unfunny buffoon, made a good point about this. And I'm just gonna play the first part, but he actually kind of comes to Kim's defense. Like, I can see it from, from Kim's side. I can see it from Kim's side, you know? She's like, you guys think I just take a few pictures and I go to a few events and then suddenly I'm rich and famous and you think it's easy, but it's not easy. And I understand that, I understand that. Kim does a lot of work. She grinds all the time. She's a shrewd businesswoman and she's a mom to Kanye and the kids. But part of this idea that people have of Kim is Kim's fault. I mean, think about it, for decades, the thing that she's sold is not work. Okay, so then he goes on to talk about how, you know, luck did play a big part of her success. And honestly, he does make a good point that part of Kim's brand and her image is luxury and not working. You know, lounging, doing all of that stuff. The main part of this segment that I agree with Trevor is that she does work hard and she works her butt off to be able to have that kind of lifestyle to play that non-working role because she does work hard. She runs multiple businesses and yes, she is a mom. And if you actually read the Variety article, she talks about how she, you know, jumps off of her private jet and rushes home and she has like six meetings in the time that she's in the car. Then she goes up and she picks her kid up and takes him to soccer practice, comes back and then has multiple meetings and she's studying to become a lawyer. Yeah, you can think whatever you want about the Kardashians, but saying that they don't actually work hard and that they don't have valuable things to say about success, it's kind of ridiculous. The last part of this that people are in an uproar about is that in that first video, there's a voice in that first TikTok. Courtney, who's sitting out of frame, responds with like, that's so true. It seems like nobody wants to work these days. You that's have to- so true. You People are outraged because I think it was back in 2018, Courtney was filmed saying like, work is not a priority for me. All have different priorities and like working is just, it's not my top priority. It's, it's never going to be. And so people are upset that <laughs> Courtney is affirming Kim's statement when she said that. But the other part of that story is that the rest of that episode and that big fight that broke out when they were talking about work is that Courtney was saying that the rest of her sisters care more about work than being parents. So yeah, I guess taking that clip, it's kind of ironic that Courtney jumps in and says that, but at the same time, if she's saying that her priority is not working and focusing on being a mom, then is everybody saying that being a mom is not hard work? So the fact that Courtney wants to make that a priority, I don't think that's such a bad thing. And I also think it's admirable that the other Kardashians still make an effort to pick their kids up from school and spend time with them, even though they're running like billion dollar businesses. So all in all, you can think whatever you want about the Kardashians, about the privilege that they had or their start in life, how much luck they had or the things that they had to do to become famous in the first place. But I don't think that all of that completely discredits the points that they're trying to make. So, I mean, say and think what you will, but I agree with them. Okay, but that's all for this week. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below and I will see you on Monday.